Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Kali Linux inside VirtualBox. So, there are two ways to install Kali Linux on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. The first one is using the WSL and the second one is using the virtualization, virtualization technologies uh, for so we're using some sort of uh, softwares like VirtualBox. So in the WSL, you will uh, install uh, Kali Linux as an application uh, using the uh, Microsoft App Store. And for the virtualization technique, you install VirtualBox or VMware and then install or create a virtual environment for the Kali Linux uh, machine. So for the sake of this video, we're going to talk about, uh, we will install Kali Linux using the virtualization, using the virtual box. We, in the previous video, we installed the uh, virtual box. And in this video, we're going to install Kali Linux inside our virtual box. So, and for the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Kali Linux as an app inside your uh, Windows 10 or 11. So, in order to install Kali Linux inside your virtual box, first you have to have the virtual box installed that we did in the previous video. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, you can check it out. I have put that link in the description below. And then you have to download the installer image or the ISO image for the Kali Linux. So, what you have to do is just open your favorite browser, type git Kali Linux, and then click on the first link, uh, Kali.org. Once the page is loaded, come down here and installer images, choose the 64 bit version and click on it. And now it will install, sorry, uh, download the ISO image for us here. So I'm gonna start the download. As the file is a little bit big, it's uh, almost three uh, gigabytes. So I will see you when it's finished. So while we are waiting for for the download, download, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because in the next video I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux as an application using the WSL. So hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button. So now you have to just open your search bar and search for the virtual box. You just need to create the virtual uh, machine here. So for that click new type the name for this for us now we're installing Kali Linux so it will be Kali Linux type Linux and the version should be Debian 64 uh, the machine folder that I want this to be inside this uh, for me in this PC my local disk D so and now here in Call it Linux folder in this select folder and I, next then I will allocate just two gigabytes of RAM for this two eight yeah next yes create a virtual hard disk now select this option create and select the second option virtual hard disk next dynamically allocate it yes and then allocate a uh, space or memory space of between uh, I suggest you to between two, 20 gigabytes up to 50 gigabytes so for this i will choose just 30 sorry 35 gigabytes oh come on uh, 35 gigabytes of RAM for this sorry memory and then create now there are also some other modifications that we have to make click on the virtual machine settings and then from here from advanced Short clipboard choose by directional system, it's okay. Processors, I will allocate one CPU for this. The display, I want the maximum quality and the storage. Now you have to uh, allocate the uh, ISO file uh, that you have done with for the Kali Linux. Choosing choose a disk file from here, Kali Linux. And this here is the ISO file that we just downloaded. Open it and then other things it's okay i will hit okay and now we are good to go and just we need to hit the start button here it is ok 
okay so choose the graphic and install or you can just install by without any graphics but i i, I prefer uh, and i suggest you choose the graphic and install uh, console hit enter and the installation will begin so from the language is english continue united states or any location that you are but i i choose um, my location united states uh, american english continue so now you have to choose the host name which is Kali. it's okay for us to continue there is no i just left uh, this blank continue now full name for that new user so for me it will be insecurity certain security yeah and then continue username for me yes and then choose a password for your virtual machine so and then continue well this or just i'm going to choose the default ones continue now we have to wait just for a little bit okay guided use the entire disk continue this one yes continue uh yes continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue yes and continue it will take it sorry it will take some time so now we have, i suggest you select all of these things because these are necessary for us so we'll hit continue and now it will uh, install all the selected softwares it's about 3000 files so it takes some time so now it will ask for the display manager so display manager is a program that provides graphical login capabilities for the uh, windows systems or for any virtual machine from here so before call it linux we choose light uh, dm and hit continue so now it asks for that to install the grab glider say yes continue and entire device so this one continue so now it will finish the installation we have to wait for a couple of minutes and we're good to go so now the installation is finished we have to reboot it so click continue and this will just reboot the virtual machine and that's it okay let me just yeah in the color linux do, do not show this message again console so now enter your username for me it was insecurity and the password that you have chosen and hit enter so now you will be logged into your virtual machine uh, in your Kali linux virtual machine so far so yeah uh, for every time that you install uh, Kali linux for the first time you have to do uh, these basic things First of all, open the terminal. Uh, type sudo apt get update and type your password. Now it will update your uh, operating system or the Kali Linux to the latest version. It will may take some time. And the next thing that you should do is just type, sorry, here type sudo apt get upgrade dash y and it will also take some time so for the uh, time of the video i will pause the video and see you when it's finished so if you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel so when it uh, upgrades let's see some of the programs here so if you click on the Kali and uh, logo there you can see all the apps here 
for the information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, data assess assessment, password attacks, wireless, wireless attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, post-exploitation, forensics, reporting tools, social engineering tools, and much more. So, uh, Call Linux is a very good uh, OS for penetration testers and ethical hackers and also bug bounty hunters. That's it for this video and see you in the next video.